Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about circuit simplification and Boolean algebra. In the last video, I have told you why we need a circuit simplification process. It is just uh, so that we can reduce cost and our circuit look more simpler. So, I will be talking more about Boolean algebra and then we will be moving further into circuit simplification. So, what is Boolean algebra? So, what is Boolean algebra? So, as you know, Boolean means true. Bool means true and false. Boolean true and false. So, the calculation associated with true and false is known as Boolean algebra. Okay, so how we will be writing it? So, in the universal gate, I have told you that we have uh, three universal gate. In my universal gate video, I have told you that there are three universal gate, not gate, and gate, and or gate. With the help of this gate, we can create all other gate. So, if you have watched, means if you have not watched that video, so I will definitely ask you to watch that. So, there itself I have told you uh, that uh, suppose this is a boolean, so we can represent its not by a not. So, if we are applying any not gate here, then the resultant value will be a not. So, this sign, this bar over uh, boolean means uh, alphabet is known as not means suppose if a is 1 so what will be a naught a naught will be 0 if a is 0 then a naught is 1 so in the earlier video itself i have told you that we can write a circuit in different way right so like uh, we can draw a circuit means uh, here itself I have told you now, that we can use this particular gate to make any other gate. So a Boolean algebra can be written in many forms. So we have to choose the most appropriate form so that our circuit should be more and more minimal. So suppose this is a initial Boolean variable. A B, C. It has C input, means it has three input A, B, and C. Suppose the condition is like A bar, B bar, C bar plus A bar, B bar, C plus A, B bar, C bar plus A, B, C. As earlier told that this is the end of operation performing, right? And the positive plus is the odd operation, right? So now question is arising: What will be the first performance? Is A B will A B C will be first performing, or this C A will be first performing then after A B? So we will be discussing this in the order of operation. Means in which order we will be doing the operation. Means first we will be, well, means we will be performing the end or first we will be performing the or operation. So we know that we have, means we thought of simplifying it, but we directly write that value. And our assumptions is like, that we can write this circuit in a plus b bar plus a c bar right uh, means when we simplified the circuit last time so we came to the conclusion that we 
can write this boolean expression and uh, when we simplify our circuit manually means uh, while drawing itself our final conclusion works like that we can write in this way also so we will be doing the same thing using the um, algebraic logic means all the multiplication and uh, break it out and uh, we will be solving the boolean algebra and then we will be arriving at this particular logic so first question now is that uh, do order of operation matters means uh, uh, do we uh, do it matters that first we solve this then we solve all other thing or uh, first we solve this abc and then performing the other operation right so do the order of operation matters so let's look at this uh, i will not take this complex circuit i mean it's complex boolean algebra instead of let's write a plus b c so which will be performing first this b c or this a b which will be performing first so let's see uh, if we can get the same result or not so now let's look at the truth table so that we can come into the conclusion that which should be applied first or or and so suppose we have three input a b and c and if we are performing or operation first and then proceed by and or we are performing the and operation first then or so let's see i will be writing all the possible combination so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 2 0 0 3 0 0 4 0 0 5 0 0 6 0 0 7 0 0 8 0 0 9 0 0 10 0 0 11 0 0 12 0 0 13 0 0 14 0 0 15 0 0 16 0 0 17 0 0 18 0 0 19 0 0 20 0 0 21 0 0 22 0 0 23 0 0 24 0 0 25 0 0 26 0 0 27 0 0 28 0 0 29 0 0 30 0 0 31 0 0 32 0 0 33 0 0 34 0 0 35 0 0 36 0 0 37 0 0 38 0 0 39 0 0 40 0 0 41 0 0 42 0 0 43 0 0 44 0 0 45 0 0 46 0 0 47 0 0 48 0 0 49 0 0 50 0 0 51 0 0 52 0 0 53 0 0 54 0 0 55 0 0 56 0 0 57 0 0 58 0 0 59 0 0 60 0 0 61 0 0 62 0 0 63 0 0 64 0 0 65 0 0 66 0 0 67 0 0 68 0 0 69 0 0 70 0 0 71 0 0 72 0 0 73 0 0 74 0 0 75 0 0 76 0 0 77 0 0 78 0 0 79 0 0 80 0 0 81 0 0 82 0 0 83 0 0 84 0 0 85 0 0 86 0 0 87 0 0 88 0 0 89 0 0 90 0 0 91 0 0 92 0 0 93 0 0 94 0 0 95 0 0 96 0 0 97 0 0 98 0 0 99 0 0 10 0 0 11 0 0 12 0 0 13 0 0 14 0 0 15 0 0 16 0 0 17 0 0 18 0 0 19 0 0 20 0 0 21 0 0 22 0 0 23 0 0 24 0 0 25 0 0 26 0 0 27 0 0 28 0 0 29 0 0 30 0 0 31 0 0 32 0 0 33 0 0 34 0 0 35 0 0 36 0 0 37 0 0 38 0 0 39 0 0 40 0 0 41 0 0 42 0 0 43 0 0 44 0 0 45 0 0 46 0 0 47 0 0 48 0 0 49 0 0 50 0 0 51 0 0 52 0 0 53 0 0 54 0 0 55 0 0 56 0 0 57 0 0 58 0 0 59 0 0 60 0 0 61 0 0 62 0 0 63 0 0 64 0 0 65 0 0 66 0 0 67 0 0 68 0 0 69 0 0 70 0 0 71 0 0 72 0 0 73 0 0 74 0 0 75 0 0 76 0 0 77 0 0 78 0 0 79 0 0 80 0 0 81 0 0 82 0 0 83 0 0 84 0 0 85 0 0 86 0 0 87 0 0 88 0 0 89 0 0 90 0 0 91 0 0 92 0 0 93 0 0 94 0 0 95 0 0 96 0 0 97 0 0 98 0 0 99 0 0 10 0 0 11 0 0 12 0 0 13 0 0 14 0 0 15 0 0 16 0 0 17 0 0 18 0 0 19 0 0 20 0 0 21 0 0 22 0 0 23 0 0 24 0 0 25 0 0 26 0 0 27 0 0 28 0 0 29 0 0 30 0 0 31 0 0 32 0 0 33 0 0 34 0 0 35 0 0 36 0 0 37 0 0 38 0 0 39 0 0 40 0 0 41 0 0 42 0 0 43 0 0 44 0 0 45 0 0 46 0 0 47 0 0 48 0 0 49 0 0 50 0 0 51 0 0 52 0 0 53 0 0 54 0 0 55 0 0 56 0 0 57 0 0 58 0 0 59 0 0 60 0 0 61 0 0 62 0 0 63 0 0 64 0 0 65 0 0 66 0 0 67 0 0 68 0 0 69 0 0 70 0 0 71 0 0 72 0 0 73 0 0 74 0 0 75 0 0 76 0 0 77 0 0 78 0 0 79 0 0 80 0 0 81 0 0 82 0 0 83 0 0 84 0 0 85 0 0 86 0 0 87 0 0 88 0 0 89 0 0 90 0 0 91 0 0 92 0 0 93 0 0 94 0 0 95 0 0 96 0 0 97 0 0 98 0 0 99 0 0 10 0 0 11 0 0 12 0 0 13 0 0 14 0 0 15 0 0 16 0 0 17 0 0 18 0 0 19 0 0 20 0 0 21 0 0 22 0 0 23 0 0 24 0 0 25 0 0 26 0 0 27 0 0 28 0 0 29 0 0 30 0 0 31 0 0 32 0 0 33 0 0 34 0 0 35 0 0 36 0 0 37 0 0 38 0 0 39 0 0 40 0 0 41 0 0 42 0 0 43 0 0 44 0 0 45 0 0 46 0 0 47 0 0 48 0 0 49 0 0 50 0 0 51 0 0 52 0 0 53 0 0 54 0 0 55 0 0 56 0 0 57 0 0 58 0 0 59 0 0 60 0 0 61 0 0 62 0 0 63 0 0 64 0 0 65 0 0 66 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 67 0 0 
So what is BOD mass? So you might have heard about BOD mass. Mm. So it is B O B M A S. So B means bracket of division, then multiplication, then addition, then subtraction. So in our case, mostly we are not having division for now, but later when we will be more of simplifying, we might be using division also. So see, we have to stick to this logic. So what this logic say? This logic is saying that we have to perform multiplication first, then addition. So what? is the right way to do. So we have to perform the multiplication first and then followed by the addition. So this is our general order of calculation. Now we will see some of the properties we usually used in mathematics. So it is the same how so we are solving maths problem right so we are solving this boolean algebra in same way but slightly the rules are different slightly the values answers comings are different so all mathematics is same but some places it will slightly change so we will be looking at some of the property which we generally see in maths so what are the property of in maths? So associative property or association property, commutative property and distribution property. So let's look at one by one. From above we have got that we have to perform end operation first followed by or operation okay so remember this thing because it will be utilizing at many places so suppose we have three input a b c so this is simply the input like this a b c and it is in and kit oh sorry not the only end gate. Uh, should I use eraser and uh, for more clarity? Okay, so it will be like end gate, and this is our output. So we have to see what is our associative property, right? So what does associative property say? So associative property says that. If we are performing operation in first two variable a b followed by c should be equal to a followed by b c means this one multiplied by this should be this one multiplied by this. So you can check it also like if you want to make a boolean algebra for this you can try it or just check uh, at initial stage let a b c oh it will be lengthy like if i keep on checking for everything so i hope you can check for other also. So this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 1, 1, then 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, 6. So you can check 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 0, 0. And anyway, 0 into 1 and 1 into 0, it will be, means everywhere it will be coming as 
here zero, here it will be zero, here it will be zero, here it will be zero, again here it will be zero, here it will be zero, 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 and here it will be coming as one, one. So we can from here we can see that it is following the associative property. So you can also check uh, this is all multiplication. Suppose all are attached to an OR gate. So can we say that A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. So this is correct, right? In normal mathematics also, this is correct. Means 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3. Is it? Yeah, it is true. So, this is also uh, true for the Boolean algebra. Now, let's check for the commutative property. So, what it say? It say AB is equal to BA. Means changing the order should not affect the result like uh, 1 into 2 is equal to 2 into 1 right 3 into 2 is equal to 2 into 3 order should be not means order should be not responsible suppose a plus b is equal to b plus a if this holds true then our commutative property is also true so 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 1 3 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 3. So our Boolean algebra follows the commutative property. You can check using the truth table. So now let's look at the distributive property. So distributive property. First we will check it for the general mathematics general mathematics what is going on so let's see uh, this is a b plus c so what distributive property is it should be equal to a b plus a c and second condition a plus b into c it should be equal to a plus b and a plus c, right? It is what it is distributive property saying we are distributing it. But is it true? Let's check. Suppose a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, c is equal to 3. This is general mathematics. First we are checking for general mathematics. So 1 plus uh, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 into 1 is 5 and a, b. 2 into 1 is 2 and 3 into 1 is 3. So 5 plus 5, I mean 5 equal to 5. So first condition is satisfied. Can we check for the second one? It is 1 plus 2 into 3 is equal to, it should be equal to 2 plus 1, 3 into 3 plus 2, 5. Check, is it equal? 3 to 6, 6 plus 1, 7 and 5, 3 is 15. So, 7 is not equal to 15. So from here we can say that the second property is not holding. So is this the same condition for the Boolean algebra? Because we know that in binary number, in binary of Boolean, we are having 0 and 1 only. Right? So let's see if A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0, C is equal to 1. Let's see is it holding true or not so a is 1 plus so i choose different color here a is 1 plus b into c 0 into 1 is 0 
इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी वन ए प्लस बी मीन्स वन एंड इन टू वॉट इज कमिंग ए प्लस सी जीरो इन टू वन इज वन जीरो प्लस वन इज वन नाउ वन प्लस जीरो इज वन वन इंटू वन इज वन सो वी कैन से दैट फॉर बुलियन एलजेब्रा अवर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी इज होल्डिंग ट्रू सो we can say that we can means our boolean algebra can follow the distributive property our commutative property and uh, our associative property right now let's look at the various identity means what is identity zero or one so various identity involved while doing the boolean operation means what are their effect while we perform the boolean operation so let's see suppose we have a okay a as an input what will be the or with the identity 0 so if it is 0 so a plus 0 will be what it will be always a let's see suppose a is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 a is 1 so 1 1 plus 0 is 1 so it will be always a right now a into 0 is always 0 suppose a is 0 so 0 into 0 is 0 1 so 1 into 0 is 0 so it does not it, it means it is just nullifying this variable now let's see what are the effect of 1 so a plus 1 is always 1 so suppose a is 0 so 0 plus 1 is 1 1 1 plus 0 is 1 so here if we have one then it will be nullifying the effect of or and same cases with the a into 1 will be a right a into 1 will always be a suppose a is 0 0 into 1 is always 0 and if a is 1 so 1 into 1 is 1 right so this is the properties with the identity identity so we will be utilizing this property at multiple places to simplify the circuit uh, we will be using we will be using this logic only to nullify some of that particular circuit means we will be dissolving those particular circuit using this particular thing so keep this as imp and we will be mostly using this further so we will be utilizing our all associative distributive and commutative property as well as this identity properties to dissolve our circuit to simplify our circuit so since now we have already checked it with the 0 and 1 now we will check what will be the effect of the same variable okay if we are using same variable what will be its effect so let's see if we are having a and uh, we are following the a bar so what uh, so this is not equal or oh, uh, means i know so what if we are having one bar and we apply another bar so this will be nullifying it and our final result will be a so twice the inversion will reverse it back to its original 
variable so we will be utilizing the same thing while we will be using the quantum calculations like we will be performing the not operation here just uh, this, this is just for uh, to be having some understanding suppose we will be performing some not operation here so it will be converting to one and now if we again perform the not operation it will be again coming to be zero so these are just some quantum bits so now next if we have a bit a and if we are performing and end operation with the same bit so it will be a you can check it like 0 into 0 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 so uh, you can note it here so a into a is equal to a now what if we have a and other is a bar right so in this case it will be always always zero why because if a is one then a bar will be zero so one into zero is zero if a is zero then a bar will be one so one into zero is zero now what will be the effect of same variable or single variable using or so suppose a plus a what will be a plus a it will always be a why let's see 1 plus 1 is always 1 1 plus I mean, 0 plus 0 is always 0 now what if we have a plus a bar then it will always be 1 why because if a is 1 then a bar will be 0 and we will be getting result as 1 if a is 0 then a bar will be 1 and we will be getting result as 1 so from here you can understand that a into a into a into a into a will always be a means there will be multiples a ki power 4 or a ki power n it will always be equal to a and from here you can get that a plus a plus a plus a or you can say 12 a or multiple summation of a will always give result as a right so we will be utilizing this logic also coming further while we will be doing the simplification process yeah do remember this also double double inversion will be converting it into converting it back into normal condition so this is the effect of you mean same variable using and or operations and inversion operation or we can say not operation now we will see that what is the effect of identity or um, means identity 0 and 1 on the two variable till now we have seen it for the one variable now we will be using it for the two variable and we will be also looking at the de morgan's law so i think the video has gone slightly longer now and the de morgan law is slightly a larger topic and a slightly a separate topic to be discussed so i am thinking of making a new videos means a separate video for the de morgan law and then we can further move to circuit simplification process equation process 
so this will be a continuous video after this so we will be covering the de morgan's law and we will be also looking at the truth table and see how the truth table is holding true and how uh, miss we will be solving the de morgan law using the algebraic expression also as well as truth table so for that i need it to be in separate video because this video is been quite long now so if you uh, are continue means if you like the video so you can press the thumbs up button or if you have got nothing from this video so you can press thumbs down and do mention your valuable suggestion in comment and if you want to see me uh, making more videos then you can subscribe to this channel thank you see you in the next video